Okay, leading us off, a moment during a break in the Republican debate last night. Yeah, a campaign ad snuck its way into the commercial lineup and it was quite a surprise. Let's have a look. It's a new day in America. Today, more people will go to work, return home to their families, and sleep more soundly than ever before. All because one man refuses to settle, putting people before politics. That man is Frank Underwood. America, I'm only getting started. I'm Frank Underwood, and I approve this message. Did you see that? Uh, FU 2016 for Frank Underwood. Yes, that has to be delivered at the FU, doesn't it? What, what is really interesting about that for me is it just shows you how easy it is to parody political adverts. Because until he turns up and says, America, I'm only getting started, it looks like a campaign ad. Yeah. And it could be a campaign ad. If, if, if I'd said to you this is a real campaign ad, guess which candidate turns up at the end, you wouldn't have been able to guess. Looks like the RNC put that out, huh? Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah, the RNC should hook yeah. up with House of Cards. They do it. Uh, the they, national election. They do do it very well. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? House of Cards has only been around for four years. Uh, oh, this is the website. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's an actual website as well that you can go oh, look to. Look at his eyes moving back and forth. He's watching you, Richard. Yeah. Actually, if you, <laughs> that's quite neat. You can go down. You can scroll around. If you have to be careful. Oh, oh look, there we well, are. There we are. Frank Underwood speaks his mind now with us. Oh, thanks. We'll be interviewing Frank Thanks Underwood again, graphics department. <laughs> um, hey. there's, always, there's actually a plot. If you have to be careful on the website, if you've not got to the end of the last season, there is a plot spoiler on that website to look out for. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, you know, Richard, uh, you used to call me on your cell phone. Just kidding, you never you've did never, call me on You've your never cell given me a number. <laughs> I have never given you my number, huh? Hotline Bling, very famous song by Drake, went viral. So we want to show you what happens when some mm. actors recently nominated for the Golden Globes, they do their own dramatic interpretation of Drake's lyrics. Here it is. Ever since I left the city... You got a reputation for yourself now. Go. You got me down. You got me stressed out. Because ever since I left the city... You start wearing less and going out more. Hanging with some girls I've never seen before. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you needed my love. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. That can only mean one thing. I know when that hotline blinked. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone late night when you need my I love. I love it. Isn't that remarkable? Oh, great. I thought they did a great, great job. This could only be topped, I think, if maybe George Stephanopoulos, Dan Harris, and the gang got together and did a rendition of this, the ABC News version. I bet that would be good. It, it, it also, it's amazing how intimidating Brian Cranston, because he was doing a little bit of Walter White within there, how intimidating he can be when he's re simply reading a, a I just want random to know, lyric from if, Drake. If we rolled it, some of the music from Hotline Bling, could you do Drake's dance? Let's not. Let's let's work on that. I believe uh, that, <laughs> that needs rehearsal. <laughs> I mean, sure, I get. I agree with you. It's very All popular. Right, a lot we'll of YouTube Friday. rehearsal. We'll Friday. Uh, just finally, Howard Stern has renewed his contract as well uh, with Sirius XM for, um, I think, more than the gross national product um, <laughs> of the United Kingdom. It's something like, is it something Five like Five year deal. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about, what, yeah, he earned around $80 million annually and it's expected to rise to $90 million. Rise to 90. He works three days I, a week. Wow. He's also uh, agreed to a 12-year licensing deal to create streaming content. What are we doing take... wrong, Richard? <laughs> what are we doing wrong? I think more or less everything. <laughs> Uh, we're basically volunteers here compared with him. Um, coming up, uh, wearing pyjamas all day and uh, much more than that.